Right, folks. Get this bloody camera. Why is it when you start the camera up, it, the cam the picture goes smaller and then it cuts you off, cuts the top of your head off. You look like a bloody hard boiled egg ready for a lump of bread to be stuck in my head. Unbelievable. Right, been around Morrison's today or whenever you see this uh, video, and um, I love a waffle. People say I waffle on and I love a waffle. So, I was walking around Morrison's um, looking for stuff to review to keep you people interested and uh, I found these. The original waffle company. There we are. Uh, they cost me £1.29 I think it was and um, it's a traditional Belgian liege. Is that how you say it June? June! June's buggered off. Unbelievable! No one were doing this. June! <sighs> Can't believe it. So anyway, it's a chocolate waffle. It's uh, individually wrapped waffles with a chocolate flavour of topping and uh, suitable for freezing. No artificial colours or hydrogen... What have you been, June? Jane's been for a week. So anyway, what's that say? Belgian liege, is it? Looks like it. Looks like it. Must be it. If June says it is, you don't argue with June, folks. So what I'm doing, uh, I'm going to eat one that's, uh, it says that you can eat on. Serving suggestions, ready to eat, perfect as a quick lunch box snack or warm through with an indulgent dessert. Please remove all packaging before heating. I can't believe, right, in this day and age, right, we're, we're in 2019 and you've got to put on it, um, remove the packaging. Can you believe that we've got this far in life and, and they're still being told to remove the packaging? Can you believe it, June? Yeah, but some foods you do cook in the packaging. Yeah, some foods you don't. You, obviously, surely you do not eat that. Heat it in the packaging. Perhaps it's just me. Perhaps I'm just stupid that I wouldn't think of even cooking it in the packaging. So what I'm going to do, folks, um, we're going to try the cold one first. June has uh, organised me well. Once again in my life, June has organised me. Uh, she has got one cooking in the oven, or warming through in the oven. How's it looking, June? Couple Is it, more minutes. Couple of more minutes. Of so what we're going to do, it says you can eat them warm, you can eat them cold. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this one in half. Uh, I could have supposed to just pick it up and shoved it in my mush and um, not really bothered. Is there any other details on the packaging? No. It's got wheat in it, uh, soya, eggs, soya, soya, and sugar and stuff. Cocoa coating, uh, vegetable fats. So it could be, does it, is it vegan friendly? Yep, yeah, it's got a V on it. It's got a V on it. There's a V there. Does that mean vegan friendly? Does that mean vegan friendly too? She ain't got a clue. Right, here we go, folks. Name something from Belgium. Exactly. Well, that's nice. Mm -hmm. Do I try it, Jim? Uh, go on, I'll try it. Nice, it's sweet. Mm, it's, nice. it's got a crunchy, um, crunchy effect to it, isn't it? Mm. And, uh, mm. That chocolate is gorgeous. I would say, describing it to the visually impaired, you know when you get a trifle fingered, uh, trifle fingers. It's nothing like one of them. It's um, it's a little bit. You know the the fingers you get in your trifle, sponge fingers. Sponge fingers that's it when you get them. It tastes a little bit, it's got that kind of texture but tastes a lot better. Oh wow! Oh, I really really like that! I 
That is really nice. Right, June. June has prepared me. I need the uh, the towel though, June. June's run away with the towel. June's come back with the towel. Because uh, this, um, do you like these plates, folks? We um, we went to Ashby once, and there was a, a shop there hardware. that did war. Eh? Oh, so I thought you were about the hardware. And uh, it was 1940s style calf, but it went bust. And um, they had these wartime bowls and stuff. So anyway, enough of that uh, memories uh, down memory lane. That is the warmed up waffle with chocolate. And June has um, put ice cream on it, full fat ice cream. Because obviously she's going to try and uh, kill me off and cash in on the uh, life insurance. Is that right, June? We have now got cream on it as well. I could just feel my arteries hardening up. Unbelievable. So. Bit of a waffle, bit of cream, bit of ice cream. And that bloody hot. And the dog's in the fridge. And we've left the fridge door open and the lurch is in the fridge. That's hot. Oh, that's fell off. Oh, wow. Mm. That's almost like a donut, a freshly cooked donut at the fair. It's got that warmth, it's got that sweetness, it's got that softness. That is absolutely tremendous. June, come and put this in your gob. What do you think to that? Mm, it's really nice. It is nice, it's isn't it? Warmed up. They are better warmed up, folks. If you're going to get these, you've got to warm them up because it just goes all soft and gooey on the inside. Mm. Oh, that is superb. Isn't that superb, June? It is. Folks, get yourself down Morrison's or wherever else that sells these. Oh. Got a bit more? No, I'm not going in a bit. That is one of the best desserts I have ever had. Oh, God. Tremendous. What a pudding for one pound twenty nine. For five of them, you can't go wrong. If you're vegan or vegetarian or whatever you are, you've got to try these. These are one of the best. Are these one of the best puddings we've had, June? Shop bought one, yeah. Shop bought one, yes. June's a good cook. I said cook. Hello. Not you, I mean this lot out here watching. Mm. Oh. So there you are folks, get yourself down Morrison's, uh, get down the sweet bit, the uh, cakey bit, the cakey cake bit, and uh, get yourself some waffles. They are tremendous. You will not be not disappointed. Ladies.